Whoa. She is full on winter now. You hear that crunching under my feet? I think it's about minus 20, something like that this morning. How did I ever work out in this? Still can't figure that out. Oh, so cold, I can't even get the pee in there. Oh, okay. Oh, lovely in here though. Like the new banners? Okay, let's give her a little bit of heat. I have a little too fresh. Something like that ought to do nicely. All right, so welcome back to the channel. Today I'm thinking I'm gonna keep working on the inside of Project Snowman here and maybe we can even get an interior inside it. And I don't know, we'll just keep going and there's so many little projects that need doing on this truck, but the only way we're gonna get them done is by ticking them off one by one. So pitter patter, let's get at her. Great. I hope me and you ain't let Bandit talk us into something we're gonna be starved for, son. Cause he's about as crazy as you are ugly. <laughs> Okay, so while we wait for the, the heat to come on in here, I wanted to show something I actually had made. So there's a company on eBay that'll take your, that'll make a banner out of any uh, logo that you have. So check this out. Isn't that nice? <laughs> so we're gonna put that up on, on, over top of this Milwaukee one. And then, what else did I get? Uh, yeah, and then one more, because there's one, there's one banner that's missing, and I couldn't find this in uh, on the Canada Amazon, so I had to search around on the American Amazon, Amazon.com. But we could not have a uh, we could not have one of these. <laughs> Check that out. Got to have a Peterbilt logo. So unfortunately, I couldn't find the red one, but I thought the American flag was pretty cool. So we'll put that up over top of the other Milwaukee. But I like these these banners okay enough with uh, the shop decor so uh, one time when I was watching smoking the bandit I was looking uh, very closely at the truck all the different scenes of where the trucks in the movie and that's how I've been able to pick out things like where there's two different there's a 73 and a 74 and how those trucks are slightly different but there was one particular scene that I was watching where the camera was behind snowman uh, it was in the sleeper and it was looking out the windshield and I never noticed it before but uh, one of the trucks actually had a black defrost fan so I thought well I'm gonna have to get the same thing we're trying to make this truck movie correct after all so I ordered one of these it's actually from a bus company I forget the name of it uh, bus parts warehouse <laughs> it's the only one because a lot of these fans are the chrome style and it was hard to find the black one so this will match the movie truck the only problem is is the uh, the stickers obviously wrong I need the uh, the KW sticker so if anyone out there has a KW sticker or know where I can get one let me know but we're gonna get this mounted first and wired in because of course we've got to match the movie truck so that's what we'll do first then I also got some a little Bluetooth radio similar to what I had in LBL because I figure I've got to be able to listen to some whaling while we're going down the road. And this one again, just a cheap radio I picked up off of Amazon, but it kind of had a classic look like the old AM FM with the knobs. So we'll mount that in there. We got some speakers. So we'll do some wiring on the interior. I also need to get the, the spotlight, uh, the rear spotlight put on there and wired in. And we'll do all that because I got to run all the wiring before we can put that, that uh, roof cap in from the day cap company. So we'll go ahead and get started and put some of that stuff in and, and trying to make the interior even better than it already is. So first up, what I'm thinking is I need to get these, this, uh, this panel taken out so I can actually get back there. I'm trying just to make sense of the wiring. It's not nearly as bad as the, the Peterbilt was, but there's still, there's some Mickey Mouse stuff 
that was put on there. Just wires twisted in to make the old radio work. So we're going to clean that up because, of course, we don't want to burn this truck to the ground. And I was thinking this, this chain, because the, the pole goes backwards. So it's kind of a, a weird deal that this chain should be mounted back here. So you pull the chain kind of like what he did in the movie and pull back on this. So we'll get that plate out of there and then we'll, I hooked up the battery so I can actually run some power. We'll start to see which one of these wires are live. And I probably need to run some new wiring as well. So this gauge is pretty small. We'll, we'll take a look and start, like I say, always picking away at this and make it work. Now there's always one that's a pain. I'll have to try and get that out of there. But just take a look at the wiring, I think. These guys here, one, two, three, four, five. So this is these are probably the the wires for the uh, cab lights or the clearance lights on top. So we'll clean those up. Well, actually these are little connectors. Look at that. Huh. Okay, and then the rest of this wiring is likely for the to power the radio. Oh, look at that. Is that hockey tape? Oh, it looks like first aid tape. Now that's a first. Fabric tape. <sighs> yeah. See, it's stuff like that that's going to burn your truck to the ground. So if you're going to restore one of these trucks, make sure you go through the wiring. Or at least disconnect the battery when it's parked. Okay, where's my multimeter? We'll start testing some of this stuff out and see what's what's working and what isn't. So this particular switch here is just buggered. You can see it's not even clicking. And one of the fans a while back sent me a whole bunch of extra Kenworth parts that he had laying around. And he sent me some switches too. So this is a nice... I think this one's going to work good because it's a, it's a two-way. I don't know if that's the right term for it, but it's got two different settings. So this will work nice for the fan. And this one we can use to replace the headlight one that's, that's buggered. It's pretty easy. Just press these guys out of here and then press them back in. And then the clips hold them in place in the dash. Now this is something I haven't seen before. It's like a two into one. You can put two clips and then it becomes a, a single clip as well to go into here. It's interesting. And this guy was disconnected from here, so I'm not sure why, but we'll click it together and see if it actually works. Oh, look at that. Light even turns on there. Okay, no sparks. It's a good sign. I'll try and see if I can get any, any power to these guys. Yeah, I'm not wasting ground. Huh. No, I'm not getting my 12 volts up here. Weird. Oh, wiring's awesome. Oh, this is so much fun. Trying to sort out old wiring. Okay, so putting the key on. That one's hot. Nothing. 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 Yeah, that doesn't do anything. That one, nothing. Okay, so I don't think these are these are keyed hot, but that one is. Oh, that one is too. So I'll turn the key off. Yeah. So these are keyed hot. So these are nice. These will be good wires for running the radio and the CV. We'll get it sorted out. So these ones, I think, there's no power going to them. So I thought, I wonder if they're speaker wires. So we'll put it on... Uh, Ohm resistance here, and of course when you touch it together we get we go to zero. So these were the speaker wires with the little tangs that went into the original speakers. Oh there you go. Look at that. Goes to zero. Okay, so this first wire here, so these are speaker wires. 
So these two probably go to this side and those two go to that side. So that's good. I can reuse those. So we're figuring this out. And these ones have to be, I'm sure, one, two, three, four. Where's the fifth? These must be the clearance lights. It's the only I can think of. Or park lights, whatever you want to call them. But I can't seem to get power from the switch. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know if it's the park light switch that I just replaced. Or it's the clearance lamp. So I'm pretty sure these are... These clips here. They were uh, for the side. They're little lights you can flick on. The interior lights. By demand. Yeah, so it's 12 hot at all times. So I don't have the key on right now. And there's no switches on. So These are always powered. So I can either... I can either put the, the original little rectangle lights that match the ones in the sleeper, or maybe even get some fancy watermelon lights. But taking a look at the wiring, I don't know if you can see that, but it's uh, looks like it's been chewed a little bit by our friendly mouse friends. Hopefully that's, uh, so we're just trying to clean their teeth or they got hungry, but hopefully that's all they chewed on. It's the only spot I've seen so far that's been, been gnawed. It's easily fixed. I can just cut it here and it should still work. But Ah, it's lovely having mice in your truck. Okay, I think I finally figured out what all these wires are for. Because, of course, fiberglass roof cap, the roof lights aren't going to be grounded to anything. So then I thought, I wonder if these are uh, ground wires. So I just put the negative on the uh, behind the gauges here and sure enough, Continuity. So these are all ground wires. <laughs> that's a ground. That's not. That's a ground. Probably one of these are as well. Yeah, okay. So these are all ground wires. Easy. Okay, so now I think we're only down to like two or three unknowns. I just, I don't like leaving unknown wires because if you inadvertently turn a switch on, then you're going to send power to it and it can ground out and course bring your truck down so it's nice to actually determine what each one of these are for but we're getting there we're getting close then we can actually get to something fun like trying to fit that roof cap in all right let's see if we make this fan work oh yeah i could turn the switch on okay we'll just we'll guess which one is which Okay, we got high, but we don't have low. <laughs> Try it the other way. Wonder why though. It should still. It shouldn't matter. But we'll flip just in case. No, oh, we only got high. Wonder if this switch is buggered. Not that one. Try the other side. No, I can't seem to get low. Okay, well, we'll keep playing with it. At least the fan works. Okay, I think I figured it out now. Low. High. <laughs> All right. So now we just need to wire this up. Well, I'll run wires up and then we'll mount it. Probably, this is kind of flimsy for the radio. So it probably needs to mount to the more solid overhead console because it's pretty heavy. All right. All right, so now we're going to try and fit up this awesome roof cap shell that uh, the day cap company made for me. Oh, let's see how it fits. Obviously we're going to have to cut holes for the radio and the fan and the air horn and the spotlight, but we'll throw it up here and see how it fits. Oops. That was the microphone. Sure. 
sure you heard that quite clearly. Uh, okay. There. Oh, it's a good fit. Oh, hang on. This is where I find that second set of hands. Oh, nice. Okay. Now, what's interesting is it only comes to here. So. It's still, it doesn't fold under, which might make it easier because at least I can still get behind to cut out for the, for the radio. Uh, yeah. Okay. Maybe I'll get some, some clamps to hold it in place. I was just looking at the the original uh, ceiling panel that was in this truck and it's actually cut off here as well so that's why the day cap company made them the same I'm just trying to think was there any fabric there or was it just was it just open steel I wonder if they could make me a, a triangle panel like this to go up there because it just seems to me it's odd. Looks unfinished. But anyway, we can worry about that later. Now it'll be easy to at least mount this. I'll put it off to the side. Maybe I put it in the center of that panel. That might work. Yeah. That way it's centered. Okay, so I need to cut out an opening for the radio. And then I'm thinking, where are they? Scooping out all the parts from the bins and I took this truck apart. So this is the original, matches the, the brown there. This is the original radio cover panel. So it just went like that. Which will be nice because I can just cut out a little smaller than this. And then we can bolt it on. And then this will this will actually be nice and open to put the radio in from behind. So that'll work. And then just like I did in the sleeper ceiling panel. I can just mark these guys out and just cut those, maybe put them right in the center. And then these are the interior lights, obviously, for both sides. And then the other thing is the spotlight. So I'll just have to drill a hole where that guy comes through as well. Yeah, that's, that's going to work out quite nice. Thanks again, Daycap Company, for the the surprise. Because that old that old panel would have looked pretty rough in here. But she wants to get the new interior. Okay, Mark, let's talk more work. Stop admiring it. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out the order that I need to do this in. And I figured I'd come and grab one of these interior panels. For the corner and see if it needs to be installed first and yep here's the answer so it's taller so i'm gonna have to actually put the corners probably do the center panel and then the sleeper boot as well and this the ceiling panel goes in last is that ever gonna look sharp oh nice pretty sweet day cab company Pretty sweet. There we go. Okay. Let's see if that worked. There we go. 
Okay, so that just sticks through like that. And this is the handle that goes on there. And that allows you to, to give it a twist and steer it around from sitting inside the cab when you're, uh, when you're backing up and you're trying to use it as a spotlight. Sleeper boot was a challenge, oh. but looks pretty good. Now it's in there. Mm. Ah, tasty. Worked up a thirst putting that silly thing in there. Okay. Yeah, let's see how this is gonna fit with those panels. We're running out of steam here late in the day. Oh. because the panels it's farther forward I wonder if it's gonna require some trimming of the plastic oh man come on is this part of the gonna go Well, Okay, I ran out of steam for the day. I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna park this for now and 
tune in next week to see if I actually get this thing to fit. Oh, old trucks are awesome. But remember, folks, if you got it, the trucker brought it.